hello everyone you're welcome to this youtube channel if this is your first time of coming here kindly hit the subscribe button and also on notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we drop new videos kindly give our videos thumbs up like share and comment and i will surely be there to attend to all the comments as soon as possible thank you for your support always god bless you industrial cover stitch machine or tipping machine cover stitch machine or tipping machine that's what we used to do tipping or pull up, the down part and probably the sleeve we are not going to be using band for the sleeve so i will show you how to thread it and how different stitches that you can run on it now it has pipe thread you can see it has pipe thread so i will show you showing us how we, we pass the thread and what how, how we can use them on our fabrics now the first one here which is the fifth one so because I would advise you to pass that one first. So it comes here, here, and it enters here. So from there, you pass it here, it comes out, it comes in here again, it comes out, then it enters this place. And from there, you pass it through the tension under, then you bring it out. You pass it through here, you bring it under here, and it enters here. You can see this O. So you open this place like this, open it, press this place, to bring it outside. You can see what you are going to do. You can remove this thing. Then, after it had, after entering this place, you bring it here. It enters here. Then it and after coming through here, it goes around the tension. It comes out here. Then you pass it through this hole. Then you pass it under, under this thing. You can see, you can see the thread here. It comes under it, under it. Then from there, under coming under it, you pass it through the second hole here. From this, from this tension, it comes straight here. Then you pass it under this particular one. Then it enters this one. Then you bring it out. Then it enters there. That's when you now bring it here. Then from here it goes inside this place. It goes inside this place. Let me pass it down. From here it goes inside here. You can see this is a longer groove. It's like it's, it's lying down inside this groove now. To enter this place. Then you bring it out on the other side. Just drop it in. So let me pass it. Let it enter this place now. So you bring it out, bring it out, you turn this thing, this inside, and this is a thread for this, you drop it just inside. If you pick it out by itself, you will pick it out by itself when we're running the machine. That is not about the fifth one. Now the spreader, it's called a spreader that comes under. Fourth one is also called a spreader, but up, it's always up. So from here to this place, to this place, then it comes here, enter here, it comes out, enter here, it comes out, and it enters this place. Then it goes round the tension. Always ensure that your thread is in tension. Then it enter this place, enter this place. From there, it enter this place, to this place. Then you pass it through this hole. Like. From where should I start from? No, I can see it, but I just want to show that to you, right? Okay. Through this O. Then if you enter this place, then let it go through the tension under like this, just like this. Make sure it enters the tension very well. Then you bring it out here. You pass it through here. Through here. So this is the thread now. Okay. So after it has passed through here, drop it inside this you can see this thing and after that I'm coming here bring out the needle so after it has entered the all you need to do is to just do like this use the thread 
bring it across the spreader like this and drop it for the third one for the third one pass it through that place to this place then you come down here you come down here it goes it goes through the tension enters here then you pass it through here through here comes this way comes here then here here goes up here and bring it down here like this so this place and comes to enter the needle this one goes enters the needle from the front the third needle can see and we have three in the air. one two three enters the third needle here for the second one comes all the way from there here it enters here then you bring it here goes around the tension to this place to the second one here the second one here second one here the second one here and it comes down to the second one here you bring it inside this place then it comes to enter, enter the second needle you can see it is the second needle and for the first one which is going to be the last one from there to this place to this place it enters here goes, goes through the tension pass it here to the first hole the first hole the first hole it enters the first hole the first one it comes here to this place and it passes through the first major so that's all how to trade the five trades for the over stitch machine so i'm going to be running different stitches on it now so that i can see how it works so put your fabric like this Make sure this one is inside there. Where is it going to work? Just like this. And then I drop it. So let's start. Okay. Now, can you see for these five threads now can you see what happened you have this it's what for double cover stage both it has it, the spreader in front and the spreader behind this is the one under this is the work of this this one that you are seeing here the spreader here is the work of this fourth thread so it's double is it's called double sided cover stitch when you want to do your taping as in the taping of your t-shirt you can just use this design I can choose to use it to do design on the clothes, different pattern on the clothes. If you choose to use it, so it's actually good. So this is the work of the spreader, the fourth, that's the fourth trade need uh, trade that comes from here to enter this place. If you pass it very well, this is the out comb. You have the cover stitch both in up and down. You have that design. So you can see. You can see very fine so you can use to run a design on your polo on your t-shirt now let me remove the the fourth thread now and work with the remaining one so you see how it was now that i've removed the fourth thread so we have just four threads now that's the fourth three and the fifth one so let's see what will happen i will see that is the fourth one stopped here so you can see we have three on the back the cover stitch you can use it like this to tape your polo either the sleeve or the base so as under design you can see do is to use two to remove the second one that's the one at the middle we remove this one now remove this one like this so that means we have two needles now the first and the fourth we have three trades the first the third and the fifth 
now you can see instead of three now we have two so this is actually the one that is very common i see the back too you can check the back from the beginning with the third and now we have two So those are the different stitches we can actually run on it also you can do it this way instead of removing this one just have your thread here and use the first two needle or the last two needle so you will see have two you see have two but very close stitches be very very close to each other unlike this that we have the four you are using the first and the third needle if you are using the first and the second needle or the second and the third needle you have with your stitch very very close to each other so that's how to run our industrial cover stitch machine if you want to remove the fabric now just pull this thing down like this raise your foot and drag it up then you cut it so that's it so this you want to oil it it has a oil swamp so just make sure you are watching your gauge but here yeah, so you put your oil here you put your oil here so this there is oil here already so i'm not adding more oil make sure you are watching your gauge it must not go below the red line so you make sure you hold this place and uh you oil this place too there's something here you open it and cover it oh. that's all about the cover stitch machine